Combat Patrol magazine is a third iteration of Hachette Parthwork magazines set in Warhammer 40k universe. This magazine helps its subscribers to collect 9 complete game-ready Combat Patrols across 90 issues. The magazine is currently available in the UK, but will come to other selected parts of the world next year or so. The coolest part about the magazine is that it allows to get Warhammer minis with a good discount compared to regular box prices. Today we have one of these Combat Patrol magazines to unbox. I'm very excited about that. And this is an issue number 5, which is usually an issue with some sort of a unique miniature. And in this case, this is gonna be a brand new Space Marine Sergeant's Infernus Marine Sergeant, pretty much. This is, this is the guy. Let's go ahead and open the magazine. Apart from the magazine itself, we got some dice over here namely six pieces. They are necessary for playing the game. We, of course, got a sprue. I'm gonna put the magazine aside, so the sprue is visible a bit better. This is the Infernus Marine. We have a base for him. And we will build him in a later video. Stay tuned for that. And the magazine itself, very, very nice, very beautiful. So you can see some holes for binder. Usually there is a binder that comes with the magazine. You have to pay for it separately. But nevertheless, there are really cool looking binders. And they show us how the Space Marine Sergeant is going to look like, assembled and painted. This is the back cover. They advertise what is going to be in following issues. And uh, let's let's see what's what's inside of it. As always, Games Workshop split their information into some sections. How do you build minis? How do you paint them? What kind of stuff you can read? Something about collecting and uh, how to play. And these are on the right side, the instructions for the assembly of the Infernus Space Marine Sergeant. They look very detailed because this magazine is primarily pointed at new people in the hobby. So the instructions are fairly, fairly clear. Then they explain us how to paint things. So the base coating, the technique base coating. This is how you base coat your minis. They explain how it works. Then they have instructions how to paint the sergeant that we got with this issue. Very, very easy to follow instructions. They mention the paints. They show where this paint should go. And by the way, you get paints with some issues of the magazine. I think you should have some by the issue number five. This is how do you update the existing mini. So you got some new paints and uh, you can paint some, some bits on the previous minis from the previous issues. Updating your Tyranids. And this is how your work in progress is going to look like. So I guess these are the minis that you get from the previous issues. You get the captain from issue number five. This is the Inferno Sergeant we got today. And these guys are Inferno Space Marine Squad gods from issue number three. I am a happy owner of that issue and we will open the issue and build them on this channel. I hope so at least. Here they explain some lore about the Imperium of Man. This is about black ships. Really quick information regarding black. Look at the art. Look at this art, guys. This is immersive. This is really, really, really cool. And then they explain what a sergeant is. So the sergeant should have a red helm. And uh, this is how you use your sergeant on the battlefields. So some kind of rules. And uh, you can name your sergeant here. Very, very, very nice. This is some more information about how to use the sergeant on the battlefield. And these are some scenarios you can play. This is the game board. You start with your Infernus Marine here, and then you're presumably supposed to kill everything. This is how you do it. They explain turn by turn. What do you do? That looks actually quite cool. Some explanations how to use the, the new mini. 
some victory conditions and more advanced uh, information regarding the play. So you can see Tyranid Winged Prime over here and Furnace Marines from issue number three. And uh, yeah, more more information how to play the game. So the idea of the magazine, the way I see it, is that you should be able to play the game after you collect a bunch of issues and know a bunch of rules. Of course, some more ads for those who did not subscribe and bought this in retail uh, newsstand. And uh, yeah, that seems like uh, this is pretty much it, my friends, for the magazine. So yet again... A really cool looking magazine. I would prefer to have probably a little bit more fluff there. But uh, these magazines are primarily purchased for the minis. And we got a really cool unique mini over here. In Furnace Marine looking incredibly, incredibly cool. To the best of my knowledge, In Furnace Marines are not separately available at the moment. They're only available as part of larger boxes or this Combat Patrol magazine. So that is one of the reasons people are chasing the issues. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this nice magazine. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you anticipate it showing up at your country? And uh, I will see you guys uh, in the next video. Max is out. Take care. Bye.